Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Kripna, volcanologist, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Val Finlayson, and I'm a postdoctoral associate over at the University of Maryland. Thank you so much for joining me. So I get a lot of questions that are sort of around the topic of what is below us? Is it all magma? Since you're kind of an expert in this, can you please explain what is below our feet? So uh, most, of the, most of the inside of the Earth below our feet is actually solid. So if we look at a diagram of the inside of the Earth here, in the orange and yellow here is the mantle, which is solid rock. It's magnesium, oxygen, silicon, iron, and a handful of other elements mixed in. Um, below that, even deeper in the Earth, is the core system. And it's actually the outer core that's liquid and then there's a solid inner core in the middle of that. So um, that's that's a pretty common misconception. Only part of the inside of the Earth is liquid. That's really cool. And how do we know that? Uh, we know that through earthquakes. So if you have um, an earthquake that a bunch of se uh, seismometers pick up, uh, we can actually see how these different seismic waves bounce around inside the Earth and refract and reflect through different layers. That's pretty cool. And final question, what would it look like if we could see it? So these diagrams often show the mantle as um, yellow and orange, right? So the mantle is actually green, as you can see in these mantle xenolith inclusions inside this gray black basalt that was erupted out of a volcano. And that is um, uh, in the diagrams, yeah, that's probably reflecting how it would look if you broke the earth open because it would probably glow yellow and orange. Excellent. Thank you so much for being part of this Twitter moments. And ask Val any more questions on Twitter, I'll be tagging her. Thank you.